you start thinking about cloud services, it's a good idea to get a handle on some of the terminology that's used. And one of those is the different types of cloud services that people often reference. And you'll see these referenced as, as SaaS, PaaS, IaaS, as well as a whole bunch of other acronyms. Let's talk about them briefly. First, with this notion of what exactly is SaaS. Software as a service. AAS is as a service. If you're looking at a software as a service implementation, what you're talking about is just simply some resource that you're going to consume. You don't have to manage the underlying operating system and the updates and attaches to it. You don't have to manage the underlying application and its updates and its security model. Instead, you simply get a license and you start consuming the resource. It's a very easy thing to do without having to have a lot of overhead and management that you have to worry about. However, you do lose a little bit of flexibility there. For example, if you're using a resource like, for example, Office 365, and Microsoft decides to switch from their current version of Office Suite to the next version, that's what you're going to start getting. You have no control over that in a software as a service environment. You accept the resource as it's presented to you. You could think you want a little bit more control over resources, and in that case, you may go to a platform as a service resource. When you're looking at a platform as a service resource, you're saying, look, I want to have some control, but I don't want to manage the underlying hardware. I don't want to manage the underlying operating system and its resources, or for that matter, the application itself. But I want to have a place where I can put my custom-coded solutions where I can go in and actually code it up and have the ability to, to manage it. Things like going out there and host, hosting a web app, for example, would be a platform as a service, where I'm just going to push my web code into that environment and give people access to the web app. The next level would be out there going to an infrastructure as a service environment, an IaaS deployment model. And this, you're just saying, I want to get out of the hardware game. But you're going to have complete and total control of the operating system, the patch level you want that operating system to be at, the application that you deploy, the patch level you want that application to be at, and then, of course, any code that you may want to deploy into the resource as well. So it gives you total control. So as you're looking at these, understand that, that while you have the, the, the maximum amount of control in an infrastructure as a service solution, you also have the maximum amount of management overhead that you have to deal with. And as we go up with platform as a service, we can step back a little bit from that management and administration, but we lose a little bit more control. And then in the software as a service deployment model, we lose the majority of control. Now, these are the three main as a service offerings that you will often see people refer to, but they're certainly not the only ones. There exist things like DR as a service for disaster recovery, ID as a service for identity um, and authentication resources. You have DB as a service for database as a service. So whenever you hear somebody mentioning something like as a service, just understand that that is some cloud offering and it may have different levels of management required of you. 